Hey guys, Mark Lyon here, Lion Horses today. I got a little tack tip for you. And I've used, I've had to, I've had, this has become useful several times in, in uh, when I've been riding. So hope this tip helps you as much as it does me. So when I go to put my head stalls together, uh, most of the time they come with a piece of leather string or wang, they call it, to tie here. And uh, sometimes I'll have Chicago screws too. That's another, another option. Um, I like a little both. Like I like the way the security of the Chicago screw and how tight it holds everything together. Um, even no matter how tight you get something with a string, it's still going to have some some wiggle in there, and it'll kind of the leather will stretch a little bit and it'll droop a little bit. So I like the way the Chicago screw really holds it there, like a rivet almost, and but it's removable, so that's that's kind of nice. Now the problem with Chicago screws is they'll back out, and you'll lose them at the most inopportune times. Now, the problem with leather or the leather string or wang is it stretches when it gets wet. And so you'll use it for a little while and then it stretches and you can see that piece will come apart a little bit and you can see in there and, and then if you were really pulling on it, it might break. So I don't really like that either. So what I do is I take a piece of parachute cord. Now this happens to be black. There's a piece of tan right here. I've got a couple others that have brown on them and uh, you can see that it, it camouflages itself in there pretty good. You can't tell that it's not leather. Yeah. So what I do is I take the parachute cord, I pull the, the inner strands out, the guts out of it, so it'll fold, it'll lay flat, and then I melt the end just a little bit and make it into a little bit of a point, and then I stick it through there and and tie it and get it pretty snug. Now, the nice thing about parachute cord, it's not going to stretch, so you don't have to worry about that, and it's it, you're, it's way stronger than the leather, so you'll you'll be good there. And then what I also do is I put a Chicago screw in the top hole. So I have the top hole with a Chicago screw, bottom, bottom hole has a parachute cord in it. And I do that on both sides. And then I add also another Chicago screw up here on the last hole um, of my throat latch. The reason I do that is because when I'm, my trailer's going down the road, sometimes it'll be bouncing around there a little bit. And I don't want the buckle on this side is heavy. And so sometimes it'll, drag that piece through there. Like if I pull on this one, you can see how it goes up there. But when it gets to that piece right there, it gets stopped. And so it keeps that thing from continuing on around and falling down on the floor. I used to find every once in a while, I'd be get somewhere and one of my, my throat latches had gone all the way around and it was laying on the floor and I'd have to figure out which part of it we need and, and fix it. So that Chicago screw right there kind of keeps that from happening. Um, the other thing I like about this is occasionally you'll have somebody else's piece of equipment fail. Like they'll lose a Chicago screw out of their head stall or their spurs or or their their uh, water loop will break on their reins or their tie string that holds the reins on will break and and uh, so that's a that's a problem. And and what I like to do is I like to be able to be the guy that kind of comes to the rescue. I want to be able to fix stuff, help people out when I can. So by having the Chicago there's three Chicago screws and there's two pieces of of paracord here that I could use to tie something together and I've got all those on my bridle and I only like I can sacrifice any of them I can I if somebody needs a Chicago screw I have three Chicago screws that I could give somebody to get their bridle back together or if maybe they broke a string on their reins or whatever I also have the two ties that I could also not need for a while until we get back to camp and then I could bring up another one so I like to be able to help people out when I can um, I travel quite a bit and ride with a lot of people. So I've used it several times helping somebody else. There, there's some of their equipment broke and that's able to help them get back to camp. And there's a couple of times when my, like a Chicago screw would come out of my spur, uh, a spur band on my uh, spur strap, you know, that holds the buckle on or something, there'd be a rivet or a uh, Chicago screw that came off. And so I had an extra one, no problem. Just take it back together. So always nice to be prepared. Remember, we're all trying to be the person our horse deserves. Catch you later. Thank <laughs> you.